Alrighty guys, Madman Mandela coming at you live from the Garden Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Good afternoon, hope you're all having a great day. Uh, alright, now, what we have here is we have the Chilvain console, yes, from Mr. Eddie Ledford. Okay, now, Ed went ahead and he uh, purchased the console off the website from us, okay? He wanted, uh, he wanted custom laser-etched uh, graphics and stuff like that on this thing, in which we did. The Maze V3 in it, it's up on Alliance servers. 10-day trial of the Purge, you got uh, BO2, MW3, Ghosts, and Advanced Warfare off hosts, okay, as well as College Football Revamped for NCAA 14, all right, you're up on the server, of course, everything's all good, now, went ahead, and yesterday I started this thing about 7.30 in the morning, and I finished her up at about 9 p.m. last night, um, me and Eddie, we went back and forth on what the design should be and everything, and we took, you know, graphics from him, and what we did was, hey, Mike, how are you? It's afternoon for me. I know you're out in California. Hey, David, how are you, man? Thank you very much. Thank you, David. I appreciate that. Um, we took the graphics uh, that he gave me, which were PNG files. And, of course, I had to convert them over to SVG. And uh, we were going back and forth on what would look good, what didn't. You know, I mean, we had some different type of script on it and everything. And we finally came where I came up with, with this idea here and did this. So, you know, pretty much... Um, you know, it was a joint effort between him and I together doing this crazy stuff. So, um, what we got here is, now, we have the Chilvain dude, all right? And then we have Chilvain, okay? And uh, pretty much all good to go. You know? And uh, we've got programmable uh, remote LEDs in it, you know, as usual. Um, we modified his ROL. He wanted it all white, in which, in which is what we did. All right, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. We'll turn off the light for effect here. Dark in here, ain't it? And we'll power it on. Okay, now as you can see, of course, yeah, you got a white uh, ROL in there. And then as you can see, we got the uh, little dude here. Okay, and we got the chill vein going on. So pretty much she's all good to go and she's all white. There you are. All right, now, okay. And I got two more consoles. I got to stream after this one, by the way. So, yeah, that that's gonna be for Shannon Heek and uh, Mario Milligan. All right. Now we're gonna boot up. We're going into uh, we're going into Aurora here. Uh, Eddie, it's already set up, man. Okay, you know all my consoles come that way. You've watched my videos before. All right. Now, all right. So, um, oh yeah, another thing too. All right. Now, as you can see, you know, different swirling and stuff like that. You can hit auto. All right, and as you can see, it changes. You could leave that there, and then it'll go through all 300 modes of what it does and how it flashes and everything. You can also do solid colors like red, green, blue, yellow, cyan, and purple. All right, so on and so forth. You can brighten it. You can speed it up. You can slow it down, all that kind of good stuff, you know, so on and so forth. All right, just to show you. Now, all right, um... As you can see, we booted into Aurora. All right, now, um, you know, hitting the back button will bring you to your file manager, your IP address, and all that crap. Scripts, restart, reboot, shut down, all that crap. Um, hitting the start button brings you to the business end of this thing, okay? Your assets, uh, your profile, your content, where all your, fold where all your folders are, where all your programs and games are, and all that kind of good stuff you're reading about, all right? Now, uh, hitting RB or LB is going to bring up your context menu down here. All right, we'll go to Xbox 360 games, and as you can see, you got a ton of Xbox 360 games on here. Um, as, as much as I could stuff on a 250 gig drive, anyway. All right, your Xbox Live Arcade, you got that. You got your homebrew section where your tools reside. You got your classic games. There's a couple classic games on there. You got a couple indie games on there. Emulators, you're loaded with emulators, okay? Uh, you got NES emulator, Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME. Plays everything. Super Nintendo. They're all fully loaded. Alright. And then, of course, we can go ahead and go back to show all. Alright. Now, what we'll do is, is um, now, getting to the original dashboard. Alright. Right here. Just hit A. That'll bring it to the original dashboard. And, as you can see, there we are. Now, what I'm going to do is, though, is I'm going to stick a USB stick in this thing that has my live profile on it. Alright. There we go. And I'll tell you what, we'll try logging in and see what Xbox uh, Live is up to anyway. Okay, just for the hell of it. And it takes it a minute. And if you didn't notice, uh, the uh, 
Xbox Live server has been, uh, challenges have been down for a while now. I mean, just down. So, something's brewing. <laughs> Get ready. All right. So, anyway. All right. Now, look. Uh, here you are. We're at Alliance. Okay. If you hit the guide button, you'll see there's our guide right there. Yeah. I mean, so on and so forth. Okay. And, um, you know. Yeah, over in the fifth tab, you got our you got our cheats that are uh, highlighted. Okay, we're working on uh, we're working on BO3 and also implementing um, the advanced warfare off host cheat to all of those right there. Okay, just to let you know. All right, so um, all right, so anyway, to disable them, hit A. To enable, hit A. They come enabled right right when you start up the Xbox. Okay, now we're gonna take this back to Xbox Home. We'll go back to Aurora. All right, uh, quickly show you some stuff here. Okay, because uh, I got a lot to do. I got a, I got quite a few consoles to build, uh, which I'm working on right now. This one, these customs, they take they take all day to do. You know, I mean, because I try to do them in one day, and it just you know when you when you're dealing. Thank God I got a CNC machine myself. Otherwise, it would be pandemonium. You know. So anyway, you know when, when I do these things, just the design alone takes me a few hours to design it because I'm taking a PNG and converting it over to an SVG. And if people think that lines are just a line. Um, if you ever took an SVG file and you actually showed what a line m is made of with all these little, all, with all these little idiosyncrasies and everything, it will drive you crazy. And, you know, when you convert it over, it leaves a lot of stuff that doesn't need to be there, which means it's dirty. So you got to clean it up and it's like, oh my God, it, 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 it's like, it's like, it's like douching a vagina like five times. Okay. You know? <laughs> What am I gonna say? <laughs> I mean, that's about what it is. So you know, I mean, it takes some time to do these damn things. They're 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 a real pain. But you know, I mean, the outcome is good. You know, I mean, but it's just it's just when you're doing them, you know, you want them to be perfect. You don't you, you don't want it to look like shit because I can't stand that. You know, I mean, just flat cuts on a uh, on an Xbox does not turn me on. It's like, ugh. you know, I mean, so you know, you if you're gonna if you're gonna do it. I mean, you know, I always believed in going, go big or go home. So, you know, I mean, that's what I believe in anyway. So, you know, the end result is something decent that looks decent. All right. Now, okay. So anyway, here we are. We're back at show all. What I'm going to do here, we'll go in here now just to show you here. Now, we're signed in and everything. All right. Just to show you uh, the cheat that we're going to be porting over to the other ones too. Now, the other ones work just fine. D-pad left to open, X to select, B to back out, D-pad left to close. This one's a little different. This one here... We're going to be porting over to the rest of our, uh, the rest of the, uh, off hosts. So then that way then it's all, it, it's all pretty much the same. So this one here, you hold in left trigger, push down on the left D-pad, and that'll open it up. All right, so anyway, we'll press start. We'll go to multiplayer. All right, uh, just to show you what this, what this one does here. All right, because this is our latest one that we, uh, that we work, that we have worked on and, uh, got working very, pretty much flawlessly. Well, not pretty much. It is flawless. It works real good. Um, all right. So anyway, there we go. Our cheats are loaded. Everything is cool. All right. Life is grand. Um, we'll go to Xbox Live here for a second. It's going to take it a second to fetch the online profile. Go get it, boy. Get it. That's it. That's it. Come here. Bring it back. Come on. Don't look at me with the ears in the head cock sideways. Get over here. Oh, come on. It must be a St. Bernard. Okay, it's just slow. Okay, low and slow. Okay, here we go. All right, so anyway. All right. So we're, here we are. Okay, we're loaded up. Life is good. Now, okay, we should have our... I, I should I should be sporting my pink pants. Yeah, there I am. Okay? Now, all right, you can set the cheat up from here. Uh, firstly, uh, hold in the left trigger. Push down the left D-pad. There's the cheats right there. They're real easy to operate. You use your D-pad up and down. Okay, you A to select and A to turn them on. Just like that. And all of this stuff works. Every single bit of it. So on and so forth. Then you hit B to back out of there. We'll go to the aimbot. We'll set that up. We'll do ADS. We'll do no spread. And we'll do auto wall for a wall banger. Any aim. Eh, we'll use the riot shield. We can also do fake lag. But I'm not forcefully dropping packets. I just, no. <laughs> okay. ESP. We'll turn that on. 3D box. Throw a bone line. Throw a name. Throw a distance. Throw a weapon. Snap line. You use the D-pad left and right. So you use bottom, center, top. I'm going to use bottom. Snap line modes, we're going to use all players, but you can uh, target enemy, friendly, whatever, all players. And we're going to use hit crosshairs instead of spread crosshairs. You got spread crosshairs, and then you got hit crosshairs, okay? So anyway, we're going to leave that on, all right? We'll back out of there. 
And, of course, players. That'll show the players when you're in a game. And uh, you can target them and all that kind of good stuff, okay? Settings. We can adjust our field of view, okay? Move the menu. Bring it up. There we go. We can put it anywhere we want. That's where I usually keep it, though. All right? And then uh, pretty much the, uh, go ahead and we'll back out of there. I'm going to open the aimbot, though. So that way when I open that up, it goes to the aimbot. All right, now. I'm just going to do a quick little private match, all right, to make life simple because I don't want to wait on a lobby or anything like that. Um, we'll do a game setup. Friendly bots, I have one. Yeah, four, five, yeah. Yeah, we'll harden them. There we go. All right, back it up, and we'll start the game. Okay, now, by rights, everything should work right, and everything should load, and everything should be good. And your snap lines are going to turn orange. That's the bad guys, okay? Green is your good guys, okay? Red means pull the trigger. Purple, it's a wall banger, pull the trigger. Okay, pretty simple. All right, in ADS mode, you have to you have to target them, of course. So anyway, we'll do Sentinel here. I'll grab hold of this crazy little thing right here. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Anyway, we'll bring in the match and uh, go to play now. Here we are. Okay. Now. All right, Eddie. <coughs> Excuse me. When this thing starts up, here we go. All right. And away we go. All right, so now we're running through the friggin' lobby. Here we are. All right, we'll go ahead. We'll jump through the air and turbocharge ourselves. We'll get out here. And like I said, when they turn red, let them have it. Oh, you bastards. Okay, let me get up over here. This gun sucks. I hate this gun. And it will target. It will automatically target the the... It'll prioritize the ones that are near you that are going to hurt you. It's, you know, that's what it'll do. That's what the same bot does anyway. I'm chasing this guy here. Here, come here. Come here, you bitch. Yeah, how do you like that, huh? Yeah, I just domed you. All right. So anyway, as you can see, uh, it'll target uh, the ones that are that, that are really going really gonna to hurt you. All right, the ones that are closest to you and that are the biggest threat. As you can see, it works pretty good. Now, this is ADS mode, as I said. See, it turned purple. Oh, that's that bastard with those dual machine guns. Yeah, I'm going to fix your ass in a second here. Now, when you got an idiot on there, okay, just hold in left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, okay, go to ADS mode, all right, and what we'll do is we'll do silent, okay? Now, if we do silent, you can also turn it on auto fire if you want, okay? Now, once that's done... Close the cheat up, okay? Now you could just um, stand in an area here, and the minute they come up, it all automatically auto-fires. You don't even have to aim. And as you can see, you're going to get massive amounts of headshots just jumping up and down, even aiming at the ground, as you can see. Headshot. Long shot. Yeah. Headshot. da dee 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 -de -de. Double kill. Yeah. Strafe. There we go. Yeah, just jumping up and down. There you go. Yeah, you're dead, you son of a bitch. Freaking guy, that guy with that dual machine gun again, I hate him. But anyway, as you can see, you know, it does It does automatically, it automatically fires. You know, I mean, I'm not even, I'm not even pulling the trigger. I'm just walking through here like an idiot. Okay, and pretty much you could uh, ruin people's day with this damn thing. So, anyway, that's one of them. All right, we're going to back out of here now. All right. Now, um... You got a you got a ten day trial of the purge on this thing as well, okay for GTA Five and all that. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip through showing you all that and everything because the simple fact is is that I've got a lot to do, so I've got to I gotta I gotta keep this short. I'm gonna show you how to get this thing online for the first time. All right, but anyway, that's our cheats. Um, also, you got GSC menus, Jiggy and Sentinel on this thing for uh for BO2. All right, you pull on the left trigger. Uh, push it on the right thumbstick, that'll open up the jigging menu, A to select, X to back out, and then of course, uh, with, um, with the zombies menu, which Sentinel, okay, you hold in left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, X to select, and then push on the right thumbstick to back out. Everything's self-explanatory in those menus, along with also Purge, it's all self-explanatory. Purge has been around for a long time, since, since late 2015, uh, so, you know, I mean, it's, you know, it's a stable menu and runs real good. All right. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to get this thing online for the first time. All right, because this is rather important. Okay. Now, look. When you get this crazy thing, all right. This is what you got to do. Okay. When you first get it, and you only got to do this one time. You don't have to do this every damn time. Okay. Just to let you know. All right. Look. When you first get the thing, 
Okay, I'm going to pull that out of there. Come on, turn off. All right. When you first get it, don't just plug it in and go. That's not going to happen. Okay, you're going to wind up at the Xbox logo and sitting there forever. Okay, look. Pull the drive door. Pull the hard drive out. Boot the console. All right. Plug it in, get your controller ready, all that happy nonsense, all right? I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sync the controller up here, okay? Now I'm going to point this over here, here we go. All right, as you can see, the boot time is real good on this machine, it works good. It's a Trinity, man, so, you know, I mean, pretty much it's kind of hard to screw up a Trinity. All right, now, it's going to boot into here. Now, what I'm going to do here, though, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adjust this screen a little bit because it's just, it's, the gain on it is way too much. All right, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's a little better. There we go now. All right, that's a little better. Okay, now here's what I'm going to do here. Okay, now listen. All right, now we're at the Xbox Live screen. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up, we're going to go over, we're going to go to settings, we're going to go to system. All right, we're going to go ahead, we're going to go to network settings. Okay, as you can see, my Wi-Fi is already, uh, is already up. Okay, yours is going to pop up over here. When it scans, it's going to find it, put your password in, okay? And once you do that, it'll automatically test the Xbox Live connection just like this. Then, all right, what we're looking for is a check mark, two red X's, okay? There you are, Dash Launch doing its job, that's good, all right? For retail, that's bad. For an RGH, that's good, okay? So we're connected to our local area network, life is grand. That's what we need, okay? If you don't have a check mark here, you're not getting on the internet. You're not getting on live, you're not getting on anything. So make sure you get a check mark there, no matter what, okay? Now, once you have that check mark to Red X's, power off the console. All right. Now, come on, power off. I hate, I, I hate that stupid, that stupid background download. Okay. Now, once it powers off, take the hard drive. All right. And plus, with this hard drive, you've got to make sure it is fully inserted. Okay. And a guy, he went, he, he went to go turn it on, and uh, you know, he pulled the hard drive. Went to go turn it on. He put the hard drive back in, and nothing showed up except the stock dashboard. He's like, going like, hey, man, what's going on? I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on in here. What happened was, as I told him, I was like, are you sure that that hard drive's inserted? Well, let me check. All of a sudden, he comes back. He's like, oh, man, it clicked. I'm like, going like, yeah. He powers it up, and it comes out. I'm like, going like, have a good day. So anyway, make sure that this thing is fully inserted. You'll feel it. You'll feel it, and it'll click just like that. Make sure it's all the way in, all right? Make sure that this hard drive is inset from this frame right here, all right? Then, once you do that, put your drive door back on. Pull this. Leave it out for five minutes, okay? If you don't leave it out for five minutes, you're not going to... It's gonna, The DNS is going to mess up. You're not going to get an Xbox Live. It's that simple, okay? Leave this out for five minutes. Once that's done, then plug it back in. The only reason I'm doing it is because it's on my network, so it should everything the credentials should be right all right so anyway once that's done and everything and you're all good after five minutes power it back on and hopefully with a lot of luck and a prayer of the xbox gods this thing will boot and uh what will happen is is we'll go ahead and uh we'll go into uh we'll go into aurora okay hopefully there we go all right our controller is synced. Should be anyway. <laughs> now it's going to boot up. You're going to see plugins come across the screen. All that kind of good stuff. That means that we're halfway there to the battle. All right. Now. There we are. Okay. Welcome to Alliance. That's good. It's good when you get plug-in notices. Life is grand. All right. Now. Good deal. All right. Now. Now that we did that, what we're going to do is the first thing I want you to do. Is I want you to go to Xbox 360 dashboard. Hit A. Alright, now. <clears throat> because the challenge server is down, we don't get our little welcome message. Okay? I'm quite sure when Microsoft, you know it's going to come back up. It might come back up with a vengeance, who knows? Okay? Might wind up with a dashboard update, who knows? We're going to find out. But anyway, okay. So here we are. Alright, now. Profiles. Okay? What I want you to do is make a modest profile. Now, you could use your retail on this thing, but, um, you know, if you got money into it, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't put it on an RGH. I'd keep it on my retail, and I would mod it from a distance. And what I would do is I would go ahead, go to xbox.com slash live, make yourself a modest profile, please. All right, think up a silly name, think up a silly password, okay? And use a, use a good phone number, 
Okay, so that way they can verify. All right. And then once you do that, okay, once you do that, or choose email, something, anything, anything so that they can verify just in case because sometimes they'll mark them as a spam account. And if they do that, then you're not going to get on live. It's that simple. All right. So, you know, like I said, think up a silly name, think up a silly password. Okay. Make sure that you're using a, a good phone, a good phone number, and then go ahead, make the profile. And what you do is you download it. You come, you, you come there, you download the profile. It should, you should wind up with a white screen saying downloading, and then it should work and it should sign in and everything should be fine and dandy. All right. Now, if it doesn't, okay and you're stuck there to download the screen for more than five minutes because it doesn't take that long to freaking download a profile all right it means that it screwed up uh it got corrupt and of course xbox has a way of not letting you know that and all it does is just sit there at like 50 percent or whatever okay now if that happens just hit be back out of it come here and i'm gonna tell you how to fix it and this is only if your profile doesn't download okay look hit B back out of that screen come here Go up, go over, go to settings, go to system, go to hard drive, go to storage, okay? Now, you're going to go to the hard drive right here, all right? You're going to go to profiles. Underneath this profile will be the idiot profile that didn't download. You're going to highlight it, hit A, and then you're going to delete it right off the hard drive, get rid of it, okay? Once it's deleted, back out of here, back out of here, back out of here. Leave, leave the hard drive highlighted, hit Y, clear the system cache, do it twice, so that's once. And then we're going to do it one more time, just to make sure, clear system cache twice, there you are. All right, then back out of here, back out of here, go up, go over, go to social, sign in, sign out, and then re-download the profile. Once it downloads and everything, everything should be fine and dandy. Hit the guide button, go back to Xbox Home, all right? Now, now that we did all that, what's going to happen is we're going to go back into Aurora, all right? Then I'm going to show you something else that you got to do, okay? Look, get, get familiar with XM360. XM360 unlocks everything that's on the hard drive. So if you download, um, if you go ahead and you download DLC and all that kind of good stuff, all right, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to unlock it. If it's not, if it's region locked or it's locked, it's locked downloadable content to use or whatever, you got to unlock the damn thing, okay? That's what this program does, okay? Right now it's scanning through the whole hard drive, okay? And, you know, when it scans, okay, that's all I'm fine. It does an initial scan. We're going to make sure about that. Once it throws everything up on the screen here, I want you to hit rescan, okay? So just go over, hit rescan all. All right, now we can actually watch and see what it's doing here. It's going through the DLC, it's going through the game saves, going through the title updates, going through the XBLA. Okay, everything is found, good, and all that kind of good stuff. Once, it's fine, once it finds everything, it's going to write the game content bin. There you go. Then what you're going to do is you're going to unlock XBLA, hit A. Okay, we're good. Now we'll go down and show DLC. Okay. Whoops. Leave that to all. D-pad over. Unlock DLC. Zero files unlocked. That's good. Everything is all unlocked, okay? Once you're done, exit to the dash. It's that simple. When you download DLC and you put it in the proper title uh, title content folder and all that kind of good stuff, you got to unlock it. Make sure it's unlocked. Come right to XM360 and do it. It's located in the homebrew section and also in show all, okay, as you can see. All right, now. <coughs> okay. Um... One other thing, if you download a game, put a game on here, right? Okay, make sure it has a title update. What I mean by that is go ahead and hit the Y button for details. Bring this down here. Okay, now as you can see, it says title updates, DLC, file manager, so on and so forth. Okay, so we'll go to title updates. All right, and as you can see, it's already got the title update. It's already checkmarked off. Life is good. All of them do. Okay, every single one of these that I do, I make sure that everything has its, has its proper title update. All right. Unity Marketplace, you go on over, and as you can see, it's installed, all right? These are older TUs right here that you can download as well, and all that kind of good stuff, and you can select TUs. So in case you get on, um, like, uh, Nova, or you get on Link or something like that, and people are playing with a different TU, you could download the TU and then play the game with them too, okay? You know, and that's, that's, for, you know, that's for Link and Nova and all that kind of crap, all right? So anyway, that, that's what you do with the crazy thing, okay? There's all kinds of things. You got Refresh download covers there's all kinds of stuff on here i suggest that you explore okay and find out what where how and who okay all right so anyway we're good here now what i'm going to do is emulators they all play the same way okay we'll use um yeah we'll use this one what the hell they all work the same way uh main pushing both thumbsticks you'll get a you'll get a sub menu while you're in the game and if there's a mod for it you can use it 
you could also set your graphics on it and all that kind of good stuff this one's a little different this one's fce um it plays nest games so we can go down and you can just pick whatever which one you want to play uh i'm always into donkey kong so what the hell there you go donkey kong classics donkey kong 3 where the hell's regular donkey kong jr where's donkey kong oh there it is okay uh no that's not it where is it oh let's see there it is right there okay anyway we'll hit that okay there you are now all right pressing the back button will use it's your selection okay pressing the start button will start the game all right and then while we're in the game okay while we're in the game as you can see there it is there's a little mario freaking a mario eh? all right there he goes okay so anyway works the same way as it as it always has okay same old crap now if you hit the y button you'll see that comes up there you can set up your uh you can set up your graphics to make it a little better okay you can go ahead go go to full screen and then back out of there and now we have full screen on this thing so that way it's a little better here Ah, eh, you missed me damn it i thought that barrel was coming down and going to kill me i'm cut ouch Yep, as usual, I get crowned, okay? So anyway, here's your emulators. They all work on this thing, all right? Just to let you know. And we'll bring that back home. All right, classic games is a different animal. Classic games, you got to you gotta do that in bypass mode. Bypass mode is very, very simple, all right? I'm going to go to Aurora here. All right, now look. If you want to play a classic game, you can't play it with it online, you'll wind up getting a black screen. You got to put the console in bypass mode, all right? Bypass mode is simply this, okay? Look. All right, now... What we're going to do is, when you want to play a classic game, power it off. Come on, I hate that. Okay, now, we go ahead. All right, turn the light on for a little bit more effect there, so that way you can see the freaking console, all right? Now, what you're going to do with bypass mode is just like this. Power, hit the eject, leave the tray hanging out. When Aurora boots up, it will go ahead, it will fire up, and it will suck the tray in, okay? So we booted, life is good. Like I said, it's a fast booter. You can't deny that. This thing boots really good. Well, all of mine do. They'll, they'll all boot within one to three cycles. That's the way that I got it. That's the way I've done them for years. That's the way I'll always do them, you know? Because I can't stand a console that sits there for freaking 30 seconds while you're sitting there freaking stroking off, waiting for the freaking thing to work, you know? You go make a hot dog or take a whiz or whatever, come back. Oh, look, it booted. Hooray! Oh, my God. I can't stand that. All right. Anyway. All right. So here we are. We're here. Good. Now, you want to play a classic game? Sync your controller up, all right? You will have no network connectability here, okay? Which means you can't play Xbox 360 games online in bypass mode. It shuts off plugins 2 through 5, all right? Leaves XBDM running, so that way then you can get to it through neighborhood and also through FTP, all that crap, all right? Now, look, here we go. Now, we'll go to a classic game here. Now, mind you, I'm going to tell you right now, some of these games, some of these classic games, they've got little idiosyncrasies you got to be careful of. Um, sometimes on a shutdown, like if you hit the guy button, you'll get a fatal crash, okay? It happens, all right? But that's just the compatibility files, you know? I mean, because it's, it's trying to emulate an original Xbox from 2005. Some of these games, they won't do that. Some of them will. It, it, it's the luck of the draw, all right? So, anyway, we'll try Tony Hawk. Here we go. It should blink. It should blink again. All right, everything's cool. It should load. And then we should see the little freaking, yeah, there we are, okay? And there's the original, um, there's the original, uh, game, original Tony Hawk, Underground 2, there you are. And, of course, yes, it plays, and everything is fine and dandy. Now, this is the part where, you know, when you want to exit the game, okay, you just hit the guide button and exit out. Sometimes it'll fatal crash, it depends on what game is, what game is running, okay? That's, there's nothing I can do about that, that's just the compatibility file and the way that this thing works, you know? I mean, there's a memory call, something's going on in there, but, you know, it ain't gonna hurt anything. It's no big deal. So we'll hit the guy button. We'll see. Yep. See, there you go. Now, what it'll do is it'll just crash, and it'll just bring you back to Aurora. All right? It's not the hardware. It's just it's just something in there causes that, you know? What am I going to tell you? But it'll run Aurora. It recovers. It's fine. No big deal. Life is grand. You know, you can play another game. All right? You know, I mean, so there's your classic games right there. Now, hitting the back button. Okay? File manager. All right? We'll go ahead. We'll open that up right there. Okay, now. Okay, anyway, there we are. Okay, we got the left window pane. We got the right window pane. All right, let me uh, go ahead here and turn that off there. See if we can get a little bit 
better of a thing here. Um, hmm. Let me see something here. Wait a minute. Let me uh run down this game here. Too much game. My God. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, good. All right. So anyway, now what we'll do here. All right. Now we can see. Okay. We got. Okay, using the using the bumpers. Left window pane, right window pane. See it switch? Okay? So left window pane. Choose H D one. This is where all your crap is right here. This is uh this is the main root of the file right here. And then we go to system. Now what I'm gonna do is I'll stick in a USB stick. Alright. You can use your PC to format this thing, Fat32, put whatever thing that you want on there for the Xbox, okay? Any menu, whatever. K V, so on and so forth. Just pop it in there. Just like that. We should see it pop up and say USB stick has been insert inserted. There we are. Okay. Go to USB. There's all of our stuff right there. We'll go down. Let's say we want to put a menu on it. No big deal. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Mike, there's a menu right there. Okay. So we're going to mark it with X. Go over here. Copy. Then hit the left bumper. Go to HD1, go over here, hit paste, yes, and there it is, okay, now, deleting it, no big deal, mark it with X, whoop, yeah, mark it with X, bring it up here, X, yes, and it's gone, okay, it's pretty much copy and paste files and folders, just like you would on a PC, same damn thing, just this is a PPC, okay, so now, anyway, pull the USB stick out. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out of here and back out of here. Notice our IP address, okay? Keep that in mind. Dot 29. All right? Now, <coughs> excuse me. Let's say you want to copy files and folders over using Neighborhood or an FTP client. All right? There's many FTP clients out there for Windows as well as for Linux, okay? As well as Mac. They all work the same way. FTP is FTP, okay? Which means that pretty much you, you can connect this thing through FTP or through Xbox 360 Neighborhood DSDK, which is only for Microsoft Windows right now, okay? So, I'm going to show you both, all right? My computer screen, hooray, all right? Look, I use WinSCP for Windows. It's free, right here. Open it up. There it is right there. All right, we're going to choose the protocol FTP. FTP, no encryption, port number 21, life is good. Grab hold of the trusty keyboard, okay? We're going to type in the IP address of the Xbox 192.168.1.29, okay? Username is going to be Xbox FTP. Tab over, Xbox FTP, all right? Now, okay, log in. There you are. HTD1, open it up. There's your files, your folders, and everything else. Your games folder right here. See? Every game has its own folder, okay? And contains all the information for the game, as you can see, okay? And all the programs for the games, all right? Now we'll back out of here. Back out of here. All right? Now let's say you want to copy a menu over or something like that, okay? No big deal. Grab hold of your file, drag it, and drop it. Just like this. Boom. And there it is, okay? There you go. There's the file, okay? Delete it, right-click, delete. And done, and it's gone, all right? That's FTP, okay? FTP works really, really good with these machines, okay? Um, now, for those who are adventurous, close. We can use Xbox 360 Neighborhood. Download Xbox 360 Neighborhood SDK, latest version. Just Google that. It'll come up. Double-click on that, Okay. And, uh, as you can see, we've got, you know, an Xbox there that is no longer here. So we're going to delete that one and get it out of here. We're going to add an Xbox to the neighborhood. Next. All right, now you can type in JTAG if it's the only one that's on your network. That's cool. All right, got to use the IP address, so 192.168.1.29. All right, I should find it. And it did. Okay, I don't want to make it a default. You hit yes, I'm going to hit no. Next. Okay, finish. 
good. There's our JTAG. Right click on it. Open Explorer. Reboot. Screen capture. Synchronize time. Security. Set set default to Xbox 360. Delete and properties. Okay. To open it up, double click on it. Be prepared to wait painfully and pay attention to this uh, the spinning circle of death. Eh, that wasn't too bad. Some some go fast. Some go slow. I don't know. All right. So anyway, there's our volume HD one that we're gonna mess with. Double click that. Okay. And get used to the spinning circle of death. Here it goes. It's spinning. They worked real hard on that spinning circle of death, okay? That's why they that's why it stays up there for so long. <laughs> no, actually that's actually TCPIP being an asshole. Alright. <laughs> anyway, it's working. Don't worry, it'll get there. It just takes a little time. Like I said, on some it's fast, some it's slow. I don't know. Okay, I mean I don't I don't know. Ah, here we are. Okay, so anyway, there's our files and folders and all that crap. If you wanna, if you wanna, you wanna transfer a file over? No big deal. Open an, open a, uh, open file explorer. Another instance of it. Okay, I'll put it right, conveniently right over neighborhood, of course. No, I don't want to do that. I want to move this. Thank you. Okay, and we'll go to a desktop. And we can grab a file or whatever. Here we go. Grab hold of that one. Drag it. Give it a second. There we go. Okay, and just drop it. There it is. To delete it, right-click on it. Delete. It'll ask for confirmation. You're good. You can drop whole folders in there and the whole nine yards. Yes. And here we are. And it'll be gone. And there you go. Okay? Pretty much very simple. All right? There's also a lot of things you can do with this thing, too. Okay, you know, I mean, you can start titles up from here. You know, I mean, you know, it does everything for you. All right? So... Anyway, that's Xbox 360 Neighborhood in a nutshell. There you go. All right, now. Okay. Now that we did that. All right, one other thing here. All right. I forgot to show you. Okay. And we'll back out of here. Let's see here. Okay. College Football Revamp. NCAA 14. Now, mind you, I got this in competitive. I got this in uh, backup mode. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. Yeah, it did. Okay, good. All right. So they got it in bypass mode. All right, so anyway, this is fully modified college football revamp 14. Okay, as you can see. All right, for NCAA 14. All right, it starts up. There you are. Now listen, go to college football revamp GitHub, okay? Pay attention to that GitHub because if there's any updates on there, it, they're going to be on there. If you want to learn how to, how to hash your rosters and all that crap, that's the place to be. All right, also there's a guy by the name of Stu Douglas on Facebook. All right, if you need help hashing a roster or anything, Stu will help you. All right, he said, he said to me, he said, go ahead and send them my way. Okay, so Stu, I'm sending them your way. So, if you want to hash a roster for this thing, and you don't understand how to do it from the, from, from the GitHub or whatever, Stu will help you, all right? And then that way, then you can help yourself, all right? So anyway, start, good, okay? Yeah, we'll sign in a profile, good, all right? Loading, life is good, let it go. And you will see it is fully workable, fully functional, okay? Just give it a second, it's got to load. There we are. Play now, Ultimate Team, 2020 Season Team Management, Dynasty, Road to Glory. Okay, my NCAA, Legacy, EA Sports, Extra, College Football, Revamp, so on and so forth. Your teams, you know, latest jersey, latest helmets, all that crap. It's all on there, okay? A lot of people love this game. A lot of people play this game. So, you know, if you're into college football, well, this is the place to be, all right? So, anyway, we're done there. I'm going to bring this back to Aurora, and there we are, okay? And as you can see, we had the regular guy there. We didn't have the fancy Alliance guy because why? Our plugins, remember, on Dash Launch are disabled. All right? Now, anyway, listen, Eddie, thank you for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. Uh, you know, I hope that you like the thing. I mean, it came out really nice. I mean, it really did. And I'm pretty proud of this one here because it came out really good. And it, it can get really bright as well. Okay? <laughs> All right? So, and very, very colorful. Okay? So, anyway, listen, I hope that you like it, man. I did your logo up nice. I, you should be able to stream this on your YouTube channel and have a blast with it or whatever, okay? Listen, though, thank you for your business, man. I really do appreciate it. I really do. Thank you very, very much. Guys, thanks for watching. I greatly do appreciate it. Shannon, how are you, man? No, it's okay, Shannon. It's okay. Shannon, I'm doing a stream, uh, another one after this one, okay, uh, which is going to be yours and also also Mario's, okay? So, listen, brother, don't worry. I, I got you covered, man, okay? It's all good, all right? So, anyway, guys, listen. Thanks for watching, okay? Love you guys. Really do appreciate it. Really do appreciate your business. And, uh, of course, messaging. I'm trying to answer my messages as quickly as I can. 
you know, and like I said, when I'm building these things, it's hard to freaking get in the messaging. You know, I mean, the best thing you can do is uh, hit up the Facebook business page. And most, most of the time, Lorraine will, will, Lorraine will answer the messages. If it's something that she doesn't know or whatever, she'll, uh, she'll tell me, hey, listen, you need to talk to this guy, you know, I mean, whatever. And, you know, we try to handle as much as we can. We're only, we're only two people, you know, and I mean, it's, it, it, it's tough, but we're doing it, you know, but it's just, it's just, holy shit. <laughs> anyway, listen, listen, listen. Thank you so much. Shannon, you crazy bastard. Yes, the massive heek man. Okay, my buddy. Shannon bought a console from me a long time ago, okay, well, now he just bought another one, and, uh, you know, he's my buddy from Australia, from the land down under, and uh, I love him dearly, he's a good guy, and he's been around for a long, long time, you know, and I mean, I really do love the guy, he's really cool, um, anybody that would pay shipping like that, <laughs> out of their freaking mind, okay, I mean, 27-hour flight, you know what I mean, <laughs> so anyway, his console will arrive upside down, life will be good, okay, right, <laughs> It'll play next to the koala bears and all that. So anyway, throw the shrimp on the Barbie, man. I'm coming with your freaking console, all right? Anyway, <laughs> listen, guys, love you all. Take it easy. Have a great day. All right, I'm going to holler at you later. Uh, Shannon and Mario, I'm going to have a stream up in just about 15, 20 minutes for you guys, okay? So, you know, don't worry. I got you covered, all right? And then all of them are going to ship out this afternoon. And then I've got a dozen more I got to build. Uh, you know, no. Way over a dozen, actually. So anyway, you all have a good one, guys, and I'm going to holler at you later, okay? Take care, guys. Have a good one.